and welcome to this most around the world video. Today I'm in Itoshima and Itoshima is located very close to Fukuoka city. It just takes a train ride to get there to get to the main Itoshima station which is called Chikuzen Mayanbaru station. It is 40 minutes from central Tenjin. Now I love coming to Itoshima. It has amazing beaches. It has uh, beautiful blue water. There's something for everyone. There's hiking, mountains. I've been before and done biking trips. So it's definitely a place that I love going to relax, get away from the city, and just kind of take a break. It's a place where you can feel close to nature. It's definitely a breath of fresh air. Right now I'm walking to Anego Beach. I just took the train from Chikuz and my Maibaru Station to Shikaka Station. But apparently the beach that I'm going to is known for its singing sand. There are uh, various beaches in Itoshima. Some of the most famous are Keia Beach and Futamigaura, which is right by the Couples Rocks. I'll be taking you to some of those later on. But I wanted to go to this beach. It's a little out of the way. It's an extra 40 minutes. Ish. I'm also going to be going to a cafe called Coco Cafe. I had read about this cafe in a magazine book, so I'm excited to check it out and just take in all of this beautiful scenery. Itoshima has gradually become more popular, more and more popular, as it has um, a lot of cafes that people like. It also has really nice beaches compared to some of the beaches that you might find really close to Fukuoka city. These ones are much prettier and also known for their surfing. So Itoshima is the closest place that you can go um, if you live in Fukuoka city for some decent surf action. This is a nice little beach. There's only one person on the beach, but look at that clear water. So on this trip, I'm going to be going on a bike ride, hopefully doing some surfing and then going to some of the other areas. Now without a car, it's a little bit difficult to travel around Itoshima. Uh, it is the most recommended way, but since I don't have a car, I do most of my travels by walking, biking, or public transportation. Oh, look at this! I just came to an opening and just became all water. Beautiful beach. No one here. And dragonflies flying in the air. You know it's the heart of summer in Japan right now because of the cicadas. I feel like they are making it hard to hear my voice, but I will <laughs> keep trying. And then there are also these dragonflies. Looks like it's mating season. Like I mentioned, Itoshima is not the best place without a car, but we're making do. The sidewalk disappeared, so now I'm walking on the side of the street. It is pretty typical of these Mars Around the World adventures, but I'm gonna see where my feet take me. So yes, this is probably a place that you would want to go if you have a car. If you don't, it is a bit of a trick and you have to be comfortable walking on the street. So definitely not something for everyone, but if you're up for that, then I think you would like this adventure. And we've made it to Coco Cafe. It's located right by the beach. So all of the pottery and um, dishware has been made by the owner of this cafe. This is the seasonal watermelon smoothie from Coco. It is melting quite quickly. But the smoothie is the perfect thing for a hot day in Itoshima. And look, I get to enjoy it right by the water. I just finished my meal here at Coco Cafe. It was absolutely amazing. I ate part of it inside because I was so hot and needed the AC, but I'm out here now. The view is awesome. It's right next to the water and the woman who runs this place is super cool. She has her own studio where she makes all of this pottery that is used to serve all of her, um, all of the food. I had a great lunch set which is a special super healthy course. It has salad, a soup, bread, and a small dessert and then afterwards I cooled off with a seasonal watermelon smoothie so it was super nice to eat on the terrace. I'm super glad I came here. It was a bit of a walk but I got to see the beautiful beach along the way and I'm gonna go hang out on the beach so I'll see you guys on the beach next. Here you have Anego Beach. It's a beautiful beach. It's also supposed to have um, sand that sings. It's very short. 
shallow. Um, it is a little bit windy today, but the water is super warm. I, I don't like it when beaches are not warm. So this is a nice little beach and it's uh, pretty empty. But it's a super nice mine that I was able to uh, come across. So here we are at the beach. It is amazing because I'm the only one here. Everyone else has left, but I'm waiting for this sunset to happen and I hope you can enjoy it with me. Well, today's adventure is coming to a close. I traveled to Coco's Cafe and to a beach in the area and it was pretty out of the way. It took a long train ride and then some walking along the street to get here, but it was so, so worth it. At Coco's Cafe, I got to meet the owner and she was amazing. She makes her own pottery and that is a pottery that is used to serve all of her dishes. She has so much energy and spirit and I just felt like when I was there, she was someone who was doing what she loved and it really inspired me to do that in my life too. And then after going to the cafe, I went to the beach that is right outside. I got to watch the sunset by myself. No one else was at the beach. Everyone else had to leave because the parking lot closes at 6 p.m. But since I didn't drive, it didn't really matter. So I got to watch this beautiful sunset all by myself. So now that I got to eat good food, meet an awesome person, and see a beautiful sunset by myself, I'm going to be heading back to Chikaza Maya Butter Station. Just want to say it was a great day. I'm retracing my steps back to Shikaka Station, but as we can see, this is Itoshima at night. It is so beautiful. We've got sunset, beach, pretty much no one here. People always rave about golden hour, but I feel like blue hour, which is this, might actually be my favorite time. Join me in the next video with biking, surfing, more cafes and beaches. See you there!